Hello and welcome everybody. Marcus Small here from the smallman.com. Today I'm going to show you how to move data from one array to another array. Now if you didn't already catch it, video 2 has got a weapons grade example of how to do this. This is a little bit more detailed, but it just shows you how to move data from one array to another, yeah? In the video too, I don't actually use a second array. I just go, okay, let's grab information and let's move part of that information very quickly and very easily. But yeah, this will focus on how to move it from one large-ish array to another smaller but still large-ish array. So let's have a look at the data set. So we've got basically 30,000 rows worth of data, kind of a medium-sized data set for an Excel spreadsheet. We're gonna push that into an array and see these orange columns? We're gonna pull those out and we're gonna punch them into here, yeah? I'll just clear this so it's nice and clean for when you do actually do the process. And let's go. So we'll go into the back end and we'll declare some variables. So Alt F11 gets us into the VBA editor and we wanna insert a module. And we'll give the module the name and module arrays. Okay, so We'll create our subroutine. So we'll say sub and then we'll say move. I'll just call it move array. Yep. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Now, I've got a naming convention for my array. So I'll dim AR as a variant. And then I'll dim VAR as a variant. And I'll dim ARR as a variant. Yeah. Now, the third variant, this one here, this is just gonna to to be to hold the column numbers. If I press Alt F11, let's have a look. We want column two, we want column eight, and S is the 19th letter in the alphabet. So two, eight, and 19. So let's use those. So uh, when we get to the point, I'm gonna need a couple of counters. So I'm gonna dim I as a long integer. And I'm going to dim J as a long integer. All right, good stuff. Now, the first thing I'll do is invoke those column numbers. So I'll say ARR is equal to, and I'll go square bracket, squiggly bracket, 2, comma, 8, comma, 19. There for all the columns. And then squiggly bracket, square bracket to shut that off. Now, that has the effect of starting the array at 1. Yeah? All right. Now, secondly, I'll grab this one. So I'll use this to store all the data. So I'll say AR is equal to all of the data in the data tab in sheet two. So I'll say sheet two, that's the worksheet code name. And then I'll say, I'll grab any cell. So A1's fine. And I'll just say dot current region. All right, so that pushes all of the data in the worksheet, a la like this, Alt F11, Control Shift 8, that's everything, yeah? So if we go down to the bottom, if I just drag this guy all the way down, you see it grabs everything, yeah? So saying dot current region after a cell reference, that's the same thing in VBA as pressing Control Shift 8. So that gets pushed into the array, yeah? All right, good stuff. So what we want to do now is we want to size this guy up. So we want to say it needs to be uh, three columns deep, but it needs to go to the bottom of this array. So it basically needs to be the length of this array and it needs to be the width of this array, yeah? So what we'll do is we'll say that we want to redim, redim, and then we want to redim the VAR. So we're giving it the bounds at the moment, yeah? So we want it to go from one to the U bound of AR, yeah? Right, that's the first, so that'll, it'll go from one to 30,000 plus, whatever it goes down to, yeah? And then we want to take the second part, which is the column part, so we want that to go, and I could say three, but I might just say U bound, open bracket, A double R, yeah? Now that should get us flexibility. So if I, I go, oh, oh dear, I want to add another column in there, or I want to add another column in there, say I want it out in column 12 or something like that, then this would grow and this would grow, yeah? So it keeps it nice and flexible. All right, so when that's done, it's basically a double looping procedure, yeah? So we, we'll start off and we'll loop from the start to the end of the A double 
AR, yeah? And then we'll loop inside of that loop from columns 2, 8, 19, so 1 to 3, but we'll make it a bit flexible when we get there, yeah? So we'll set up a simple looping construct. So we'll say 4i equals 1 to the U bound of AR. So, oh, I don't need two brackets, one's good, yep. And then we'll end that looping construct. So what's actually happening here is it's going from the first row to the very last row. So it's gonna do like a looping construct that's 30,000 strong. Now that sounds like a lot, yeah? But arrays happen inside a memory. So that actual loop will happen like grease lightning, yeah? It won't be like sort of going into a cell, doing something, going to the next cell, doing something. It will literally work in memory and it'll work very, very quickly indeed. That's the advantage of arrays. They all happen inside of memory and they're fantastic in the way that they perform, yeah? Now, inside of this array, I'm gonna have another array. So it's gonna be a J array. So for J, and that's gonna go from one to the upper bound of this guy up here, yeah? So we'll say the U bound of a R. R. Oh, I thought I'd put a second R. Yep, and then we close our bracket. Now we'll end that one quickly so we don't forget later. Next J. All right, good stuff. Now in here, this is where the magic happens. If you watch my videos, I mentioned this a lot. So basically everything up until this point has been set up. So in here, we'll, we'll say that we want this guy here to be equal to the array, but there'll be specifically what's in the array and what's in columns 2, 8, and 19, yeah? So we'll say VAR, and then we open a bracket. Now it's the row, which is I, and the column, which is J, and J will do a looping construct that goes from 1 to 3, yeah? And then note that, that one to three will be represented by one is equal to two, two is equal to eight, and three is equal to 19, yeah? So we've trapped these columns by using and abusing J, yeah? And then we'll say that is equal to, and what we want to now do is we now want to draw on the array, the AR, yeah? So we say it's equal to AR, and then we open a bracket, and that's I, so the row number, and then comma the column number, which is ARR open bracket J, because that's our looping construct from one to three, or two, eight, and 19. And we'll just do each in turn, yeah? So we close our bracket twice, and that pretty much is that, apart from outputting the array. But what I thought I might do is we might sort of watch this in action. So I'll just press F9 or uh, click on that particular line and we can watch this thing sort of you know go from zero to hero and then I'll show you how you can output the process yeah all right so if we have a look at the locals window we'll just go view locals window and then this will push actually it's taking up a lot of the screen let me just minimize it now we can watch what's actually happening so we'll press f8 to kick things off and then F8, and then what you'll see now is the ARR is populated, one, two, three, with two, eight, and 19. And the AR is populated, the array, the first array with the 30,000 strong items information. See, that's the header row. And if we go all the way down, it instantly pushed 3198 rows into the data set, yeah? And the very last, piece of information says 299, 2889, yeah? So if we want to check the veracity of that, we just go in here, we go control shift down arrow, 9889, there it is there. So it's actually pushed it in really, really nicely, yeah? So now we've just got a, now that it's been pushed in, we resize our array, so it's basically the same size as the first one, except it's only got three columns, yeah? So we'll press F8, it should be empty, all the way down, but 
but basically it'll go to 3198 yeah so there we go empty 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 so it's it's ready to receive data yeah so now the looping construct kicks into play and it says oh, okay can you loop through the first instance of the VAR so I'll just open that up and then push that data into the into the first well one one which is the first row first column and there you go you got the heading date key and it'll say category and then finally it says sales amount and it just does that for the next part and then the real data starts to come in the date starts to come in the category and the amount and it will just do that for another <laughs> another 30,196 uh, times and it will be done yeah so I'm not going to take you through that <laughs> funnily enough I'll just push that through to the end and I'll press this button so you can see that it goes at bloody at light speed like just absolute grease lightning like it, it flies oh but it didn't go through markets oh well okay let's check the veracity of that we'll go to the very bottom we'll check this one and look at that just smashes it just destroys it yeah so um goes really well yeah okay so we know that it works now well we know that it pushes the data into the to the v AR array that we've set up now we just got to push it to a place and we want to push it to a place that's actually flexible so if the thing changes in size and shape the code doesn't have to be rewritten you want to make your code as flexible as possible and you can see in here there's really no instances to uh, anything other than one yeah it's it's actually flexi 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 so as the data set changes so too does the code and that's how you want to write code so it's nice and flexible and does the job as quickly and efficiently as you need it to yeah okay so we'll say where we want to put it so i want to put it into the output sheet so sheet three so i'll say sheet three and that's the worksheet code name as i keep mentioning and then I want to put it in A1, yeah? So A1, wouldn't it be great if I could just put it there? <laughs> it's a stop, okay, it's equal to VAR. <laughs> no, we've got to resize that range, yeah? So we'll say resize, and then we open a bracket. Now it goes rows, comma, columns, yeah? So we want to resize it to uh, basically the upper bound of the rows so we could use either we could either use AR or VAR but because we're working in VAR I'll use that one so I'll say uh, U bound VAR yeah all right so that's the that's the rows length yeah so it resizes to the length of the variable so 3198 at this stage and then we want to go to the columns so I'll I might just use this one here as my baseline. So I'll say uh, the U bound uh, ARR. Yeah. All right. So that's got that. So that's got the rows. This one's got the columns. And then I'll say that is equal to V A R. Yeah. And then that should output the data into the originally titled output sheet in one fell move yeah it doesn't have to loop through all the rows it just smashes the data into that area now we know that it works up until this point so I'll put a breakpoint down there and it should work it should work no matter what sheet I'm on but I'll run this guy to that point you see it gets there really really nicely and then I'll just drop this data so we can actually see what is actually happening when the rubber hits the road so alt f11 and then I'll just move you and then just can you just minimize for me so we can see that's nice so we should be able to see the data instantly overlay into the range through here so we'll press f8 and there it is the data just smashes where it needs to go yeah is it the same size and length we go oh not right we <laughs> we go down and you'll see at the bottom of the range 3198 that magic number that we were looking for just destroys it yeah as i said like you know there are other ways to do this and if you watch video two you're like oh well you know you can do it you can do it in a, in just more economically in terms of the coding but this was just to show you how you can push data from one array to another look everyone there's heaps more content on my page hope you have a fantastic day take it easy all right next see you next time everyone take care